Hello, welcome to your Wednesday. May the peace, the wonderful shalom, this restoring, healing power of our Lord rest upon you today. Amen. Um, so welcome. Today, um, we're going to just do a little commentary on the letter that we read uh, yesterday, the letter of St. Ignatius of Loyola to his nephew by marriage, Antonio Araos. Hmm? So three things kind of strike me about that letter. Hmm? Um, first is that it was not the first time Ignatius had written asking Antonio Araos, his uh, nephew, to take better care of his health. That means that Antonio had not listened to the initial call of Ignatius, you know? Was he just being stubborn, you know? Perhaps he was so overwhelmed with all the work that needed to be done and could not slow down. You know, like many parents and students these days, people who are workers, you know, we may feel overwhelmed by the pandemic, by the isolation, by the pressures of losing a business or even losing family members to COVID or just to daily living. You know, we know one of the disturbing statistics is that divorces and even domestic violence has been on the rise during the pandemic. It's difficult sometimes to find balance. And even if we want to, we can't seem to find rest. Second uh, is that Ignatius tells Antonio that to remain in God's service for many years to come, it is important to take better care of his health now. So he links care for our health to the divine service and to longevity in that service, you know? Now, it reminds me of uh, what one of my novice masters uh, said. He told me of a kind of fast that I had never heard of. He mentioned that a possible practice for Lent is to get eight hours of sleep every day. Why? Because if we get sufficient rest, we are able to be more fully present in service to our families and friends, those in need. We're more fully restored and refreshed. Now, I know it sounds impossible for many of us, you know, I'm thinking of mothers of little children and those who have sleepless nights from anxiety. So I pray God shalom and rest to be upon you. And the third thing I'm going to mention was Ignatius, as Antonio Superior, asked him under obedience to take three months off and even to stop preaching. Wow. <laughs> I can only imagine what that was like for a provincial, you know, someone who seemed to be a workaholic, you know. So sometimes it's important to just break the mold. You know, pre-pandemic, we probably never thought we could spend this amount of time with our families, you know. It took a pandemic to have us slow down, to have some fathers spend time with their families, maybe for the first time, to stop the rat race, to reduce the LA traffic jam and pollution, you know. Now, we may not always like this, but Sometimes it is important to hear and listen beyond ourselves and beyond the pressures that surround us, but listen to another voice that calls us from stress to rest. Hmm? So honestly ask yourself, how am I doing with the pressures I am experiencing? Am I caring for my health? And if you feel labored and overburdened, Come to Jesus. See if you need to make a change to a place where you have found rest 
in the past, you know, and do it for the divine service and for your renewal and restoration. Saint Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Well, God bless you this Wednesday. Tomorrow we'll begin another letter.